OnePlus has long been hailed for its excellent phones at affordable prices, and that extends to the software. These days, Oxygen OS, which is OnePlus's Android skin, is relatively sleek, easy to use, and simple. That said, OnePlus has made a few modifications to Android for its phones beyond simply optimizing the software to work with its hardware. And these differences help make the experience of using a OnePlus phone a little different than using a phone with stock Android like the Google Pixel 4. Now, while some of the differences between Oxygen OS and stock Android may be obvious to those that have used one or both in the past, they're less clear to those that haven't used them and might be deciding between the two. That's why I've put together this guide. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps support my work and I would appreciate that support. In general, the overall look and feel of modern day Oxygen OS is extremely similar to stock Android. There are a few tweaks that you'll notice along the way, especially on a device like the Pixel 4, like the more colorful icons in the settings app. Other user interface tweaks are there too, like the different styling of the ambient display and the app drawer, and more. On a OnePlus device, you can also set custom clocks for the lock screen, which is a nice touch and adds an extra layer of customization without the need for third-party apps and services. Of course, on stock Android, you'll get all of Google's apps, but OnePlus adds a few replacements. For example, you'll get slightly different apps for the calculator, phone, messages, and so on. There are a few added apps that replace stock apps too, like the gallery app. Most won't mind too much using the slightly tweaked interfaces in OnePlus apps. However, some will want the slightly more googly feel of Google's stock apps. Other core functions work a little differently too. For example, the experience of taking screenshots on a OnePlus phone is slightly different and honestly a little better on a OnePlus device. Once you've taken a screenshot on a OnePlus phone, you'll be given a set of tools to edit it, crop it, and so on. While on a Pixel, the screenshot will be sent straight to Google Photos. In Photos, you can make similar edits, but there are definitely extra steps to make that happen. Perhaps the biggest differences between stock Android 10 and Oxygen OS, however, come in the form of added features and apps in Oxygen OS. Now, devices with stock Android have their own features that you won't get on Oxygen OS but those are usually more related to the hardware of the device, like the air gestures on the Pixel 4, than Android 10 itself. A good example of these added features include Game Space, which allows you to see all your Android games in one place, while tweaking performance settings for those games and enabling game mode and fanatic mode. Those are extra features too. Game mode optimizes CPU, GPU, and RAM performance for gaming when games are open, while Fnatic mode goes as far as to restrict background tasks, block interrupting notifications, and even cut the secondary SIM to improve network connectivity. These are nice touches for mobile gamers who might want to ensure that their gaming experience is the best it can be. There are some nice added features for those that aren't gamers too. For example, if you use multiple accounts of the same app, you can use OnePlus's Parallel Apps feature, which allows you to run cloned versions of the same app with different accounts and credentials. That's perfect for those who don't want to have to log out and back into their accounts all the time. Then there's the App Locker, which locks access to apps behind a fingerprint sensor, PIN code, or other form of authentication. That means that even if someone gets access to your device, they'll need to complete another step to get into these sensitive apps. Last but not least is Zen Mode, which will force you to put your phone down by locking you out of your device for a certain amount of time, except to make and take phone calls and take photos. Of course, while all these features are nice, stock Android has some of its own advantages. For example, while OnePlus has generally been pretty good about Android updates and even had Android 10 availability from day one, you can be a little more secure in the fact that you always get fast updates on a Pixel phone or an Android One device with stock Android. Another advantage to stock Android is that generally stock Android takes up less storage than skins like Oxygen OS, thanks to the skins added features and apps. The system files on the OnePlus 7T take up 27 gigabytes of storage, while on the Pixel 4, they take up 13 gigabytes. While those that don't want to use OnePlus's added apps and features don't have to use them, some simply prefer them not to be there at all, taking up space both on the device's storage and on the screen in settings and the app drawer. And those people should stick with stock Android. Thanks so much for watching this video. And again, if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. My name is Christian and I'll see you next time. See ya.